silly bee. <laughs> oh, 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 you have a silly beanie on your head. And it is very cute. I cannot help but laugh at your silly beanie. My name is Chan Cheek. Okay. And I think your beanie is very silly. And I'm going to laugh at it right now. <laughs> I cannot hear you, crazy man. You need to put on your mic. You! You are very silly with your silly beanie on. What is wrong with your brain? It is probably very hot out there and you have a beanie. It is making you look very silly, sir. Very silly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <sighs> Holy mother of God. <laughs> I look like a freaking cherub, man, with fat cheeks, but I promise you guys, I'm not fat. I'm getting pretty fat. Oh my God. Okay, I got to go back. Ah! Jesus Christ, my hands. Hold on a sec, guys. This is insane. You have silly beanie on your head. Why are you talking about dating app? Why are you talking about dating app when your hands are crippled and freezing? Oh, so much better. <laughs> oh, man, we have fun to my legionnaires. There's, there's one of my neighbors thinks I'm crazy out here freezing my nutsack off because that's what we do, sir. Let me look like a cherub. Pull my shoulders up. That's what we call scapular elevation to those of you who don't know. Boom, bing, bang, boom. Dating app, swipe, 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 You need to keep swiping, sir. Guys, let's go down to the lake and see if it's frozen. I'm curious. It doesn't look that cold, bro. There's no snow or nothing. That's okay. Swipe, 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 swipe. That's okay. Let's go to the lake. We got a great topic for today. Don't keep, well, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Legionnaires, you, wait, hold on. Let me get a big one. Right. Little tuck jump. Hard to move in thermals. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got to get my blood pumping. There we go. That's better. There we go. There we go. Now we're good. Donkey punch the like button as you guys come in. Finger the subscribe button. Comment in the comment section. Become a Legionnaire member. Hit the notification bell. It's nice and quiet out today. I still brought some deer corn. Watch, no deer are going to show up today. Yesterday, there was 80 deer. What? There were deer walking up to me. <laughs> you have your little beanie. You're so silly. Why do you wear a beanie on your head? It makes it look so funny. I cannot stop laughing. Yes, I know Chan Cheek K. It's hysterically funny. When I have a silly beanie on my head, that's what it's all about. Anyway. I couldn't help but notice that the little AWs are having a lot of trouble with the dating apps. They are having trouble, but if they would just get into contact with dating coach Daniel, I would be able to walk them through step by step on how to live their life in absolute pandemonium, but also find the love of their life and get the guy. It would be fantastic. But I'm really just a dating roach, and I know absolutely nothing because I am a good-looking British man, and I don't know anything about the exploits of an average, hideous, hideous AW. But I'm going to tell you how to get the guy. <laughs> Freaking dating coach. Guys, I'm absolutely f uh, fascinated with dating roaches, you guys already know. Now it's starting to warm up my freaking skin. It was free. Hey guys, it's 27 degrees out. I mean, it's not... I'm not bragging, but I've been in much, much, much <laughs> colder climates. I mean, the coldest I ever dealt with was actually in Wyoming, and it was negative 10. And I'm not joking, guys. And it was the daytime. It was... 
Oh, when I went outside, I had my camel pack on. I'm not making this up. And it full of water. It froze immediately. And I was trying to drink out of it. It's just... Anyway, it's fine. We could be dealing with a lot worse. Like fatties. Oh, the little tech thing works. Check it out, guys. This is a beautiful owl. The little, uh, my little tech. Wait, hold on. Come on, you stupid tech love. Oh, hold on. It's not working now. It worked. Oh, there we go. You know those little te tech gloves? <laughs> it works. Anyway, I thought this topic was interesting because dating apps have been failing for a while, gentlemen. And just an addendum to this, a side note to this, I know you guys are tempted just this, to, just, to just dive right in to the dating apps and go get yourself a traditional form. Well, guys, you still have to vet them. By the way, I have a link in the description to go meet traditional foreign uh, Filipinas. Now, of course, they're going to tout all the great things about their company and all that stuff. And that's fantastic. Shout out to you guys. Thank you for being a sponsor. However, you always have to vet. Okay, guys? And why am I even bringing this up? Because a lot of guys are still using dating apps for overseas. I know it's tempting to just dive right in and not vet, but you guys still have to. Eight guys from the West showed up deleted in Colombia from getting on those silly ass dating apps. In fact, the U.S. government says, or the embassy, U.S. Government says don't use the dating apps in Colombia for now. And it just goes for anything that you do in life, guys. Anywhere where there's uh, success, you're going to have a ton of people coming and try to spoil your fun. That's just how it goes. Get over it. And shout out to my passport sisters. Guys, you're going to laugh your ass off to my legion. You're going to laugh. They've got, <laughs> they've got passport sisters. I'm not making this up. And they're failing miserably. Guess what, guys? What a surprise. I talked about this over almost two years ago. And I told you guys, the girls go overseas and they get treated like crap when they're from the West. And what do you think happens? What do you think is happening right now? The little ladies are getting online and complaining that they can't get serious relationships overseas. They're getting essentially smashed and passed, pumped and dumped. <laughs> oh. Oh my God, they never learn. Guys, they try to mimic everything we do. They try to copy us. They're still to this day doing it. And they haven't learned their lesson. And it's going to take three generations approximately, give or take, maybe even longer for them to turn everything around. Now, why will it take so long, you guys ask? I'm going to tie this all back together. It's because, gentlemen, my generation chicks, the generation after that, generation before are all tainted with the you know what effinism so what happens well their granddaughters their daughters their aunt their aunts their nieces all learn that thought behavior and what happens they teach it to each other even when they're failing because they need to not be alone this is something we haven't covered in 1700 videos but gentlemen when girls are losing they need their other little ladies to lose with them. And the reason for this, gentlemen, is because they can't be alone. They know if they get other single women to fail like them, they're all going to be in the same boat. And it's kind of sad because my generation chicks are doing the exact same thing and they're 40 years, 40 years old plus and it's like, dude, you are old as F. Anyway, it's just funny because it's just another reason why dating apps are failing. This is funny. Because the little ladies <laughs> just get, Oh man, that windshield! Oh, it hurts! Oh, it burns! God damn! Oh, I'm not used to that. <laughs> I'm not used to that. Okay, I'm better. <sighs> damn, that hurt. It's okay, though, guys. It's about 27. Earlier it was about 21 degrees. And, um... It's okay. I've, I've had worse. It's not like life-threatening crazy. I've got my thermals on, but I can still feel the windshield. I'm like, oh, it's so painful. 
But it's cool, you know. You do what you got to do. My thermal shoes. It's still a little uncomfortable. Especially, gentlemen, if you're a fat guy, it's much easier to regulate, uh, you know, or uh, retain body heat. But as you get leaner, you actually, you can't, uh, you can't retain body warmth as much. Your thermal regulation, I mean, you're just dissipating heat like crazy. So it's great for the summertime if you're a skinny guy, but during the winter you're freezing and vice versa. Let me go see if the lake's frozen. I'm curious. It's got to be. It's only like 27, so it's got to be, right? It's negative 3 degrees right now. Or negative 3 degrees cel uh, Celsius. Anyway, it's really sad because this whole dating, online dating thing and dating apps thing, gentlemen, I've got so much experience when it comes to this, it's not even funny. I started dating apps and online dating way back in the freaking AOL days. I'm not making this up. And, um, you know, even back then you had catfishes every once in a while. Even back then, you had to watch yourself. And essentially what's happening now is Gen Zs are giving up, essentially, on dating apps, right? Because they're seeing the writing on the wall. They're seeing that it's just an absolute cluster F. Neither side is get. Go, go back to my previous stream when I talked about this. Essentially, neither side is getting what they want. The guys want hookups, right? They jump on these dating apps to get hookups. They're not getting it. The vast majority of guys aren't getting it. The ladies are jumping on the dating apps because they're trying to secure some sort of validation and attention. They're not getting that. They're not getting relationships out of these dating apps. So what happens? Donkey punch the like button. That's what you do. Donkey punch the freaking like button. So what happens? Well, why am I so loud? There's like nobody here. <laughs> you know, guys, I, <laughs> I'm still acting like it's Los Angeles. And I'm out in freaking the most beautiful, you know, Texas countryside. Guys, look at this. Guys, you got to see this crap. Hold on a sec. Take a look at this crap. Look at this. Look at this, man. I'm just chilling like a villain. Chilling like a villain out in the wilderness. Having a good old time. Singing a little song. Because I'm getting all happy. I don't have any bums around. No more bums to fight with. And crackheads and Karens. And baby, uh, you know, wanna be gangsters. Yo, my name is Little, Little Puppet SA. My name is Baby Joker. And all I do is walk around all day and I kind of like wiggle my head. And she, I gotta work on my chest, bro. My chest, that's all I do is work out my chest all day. Then I go to jail and then I get out and I go, oh man, I'm not really as tough as I thought I was. I'm fake ghetto. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Guys, that's Los Angeles for you. Oh my God. It's depressing, dude. Guys, ever since I've been to Texas, I've been just stacking up wins. Little victories every day. Little victories every day. Little victories. I'm telling you. The momentum is crazy. So anyway, you get on these dating apps. Thank you for the likes, gentlemen. I appreciate it. Jordan, yep, was talking to an AM on Tinder. To an AM? Maybe you mean an AW? Oh, went out once. She kept flaking. Put the pieces together. She's um, good friends with her unneutered pit bull that she drove 11 hours to get from a private beat. Wow. Fantastic, Jordan. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Guys, dating apps are... <laughs> oh, you, you meet the... Phew. Yikes. AW, there you go. <laughs> I was just checking. Hey, if you're into AMs, so be it. But uh, yeah, guys, <laughs> the little AWs are hysterically funny. They jump on these dating apps and they're looking for somebody to bail them out. They've got all... You know, it's the perfect way for them to hide all their baggage, you know. So anyway, when I was, uh, yeah, ten, guys, Tinder is just a, <sighs> oh, Jesus, mm, terrifying. And it's funny because you want to know something, um, you, it's, it's funny that you mentioned that, Jordan, because what the little ladies do is they use Tinder and Bumble as like a backup. I'm not making this up. Okay. We haven't gone over this in almost 800, 1,800 videos. Check this out. This is their hierarchy for apps. No, no. Let's add in real life. In real life, 
sugar daddy, <laughs> sugar daddy apps. <laughs> and then after, and you know what I'm saying? There's always like a scale. Then after that, it's like Instagram, Facebook ish, somewhere within that range. Then there's Tinder, Bubble, Hinge. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So they have like this hierarchy. Maslow's hierarchy of needs, <laughs> where it said, <laughs> this is what they need. <laughs> now, here's what's funny, guys. Oh my God, this is messed up. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna go there just because, just to have fun today, because today is a fun day. So, <laughs> by the way, guys, this is how you keep your trees from freezing. I know this is totally random. Check it out. Let me show you something. Oh, cool. I can auto zoom. That's so cool. See that little thing right there? That's to keep your tr trees' uh, trunks from freezing. You put it right at the bottom. Works very, very well. Anyway, <laughs> you want to see the light, guys? I think it's a little frozen over. It's so funny, but there's this kind of hierarchy. I'll show you guys. I'm going to walk up there. We're going to get, we'll get pretty close. But it's going to be absolutely torturous to my body. It's funny because there's this hierarchy where if they're not getting meetups in real life, if they're not getting guys approaching them in real life, they kind of... They kind of go down <laughs> the, <laughs> the attention. Let's guys, let's talk. Let's call it the attention failure matrix <laughs> or the attention hierarchy. <laughs> so they don't get anything in real life. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to jump on the sugar daddy apps. You want to know what's funny about the sugar daddy apps, guys? I'm not making this up. It's so effing funny because if you're a dude on Tinder, Hanging out. Oh, God, it's so painful, guys, all the pain. The freaking wind chill is killing my face. Why is the, why is the, uh, the water is not frozen? Huh, that's very interesting. I guess it's got to get a little colder out here. The lake is still moving. I'll be damned. Okay, but anyway, they'll start off in real life when they don't get guys approaching them in the real world that they're attracted to. Then they start, <laughs> they go on the dating app or the uh, sugar daddy apps, then the dating, uh, social media, then dating apps, somewhere within that range, right? What's funny is, guys, if you're not getting swipes on Tinder, you make a profile in any one of these sugar daddy apps, you have no idea what's coming to you. They are literally going to hit you up constantly. Constantly. Every day. Now, why am I bringing this up? Because, gentlemen, unfortunately, AWs, have no idea what they're doing and they're going to get fleeced and finessed more than you could ever know on pretty much all of these sd apps and i'm not going to go off of the, on a tangent with this but i just want you guys to know all this wind chill i want you guys to know aws aren't winning at all they're losing even when they flake on you mr jordan and all this other crap they're losing, sir. You are dodging a major bullet. You don't have to deal with their crap. Hold on a sec. Stupid messages. Okay, wait, hold on. There we go. I play chess, and the queen has 28 routes of escape. I started to put the pieces together. She claimed to get hives from dogs, yet lets it sleep in her bed. She had, she had fam over four... 42 weeks, got in heat problems. Probation. I don't know what you meant, but... <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, Jordan. You're avoiding massive, massive, massive problems. These aren't, guys, these aren't even red flags. They're just problems. They're pure chaos. And what's funny is... The fall of online dating and dating apps in general is just another it's it's like just another check mark it's another marker in the whole liberal mindset collapsing oh the windshield and the windshields i can feel that it's painful oh, it's all right though guys it's uh it's in the i think i see some ducks up front out in front Oh, God, this is painful. Hold on. Oh, that's some good stuff. It still hurts. It still hurts. Hey, ducks, how are you doing? Oh, they're just hanging out. Those look like mallards. But what's funny is the little AWs, they're not going to be doing too hot 
for a while, gentlemen. They're not going to be doing too well with the fall of online dating. And the reason for this, guys, is they really don't have the skills to come up and talk to you, to interact with you in real life. They're kind of a mess. I wonder what these birds are. They're probably going to fly away. I just want to want to see. Those are some beautiful Texas birds. Oh, there they go. <laughs> they look like mallards, guys. Hold on a second. Let me see. They look like freaking mallards. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Yep. <laughs> are they going to fly? Oh, they're getting ready. They're beautiful birds, though. Anyway. <sighs> no matter how often you guys hear <laughs> about AWs saying that they, well, they essentially tell each other to get online and to feel better if you're having a bad day, get on the dating apps, you know, just start swiping and you're going to get tons of attention. No matter how much they do this, guys. It's not going to stop the fall of online dating, in real life dating, all this other crap in the West. Because I got bad news for my AWs out there. Dating was never a thing. Dating isn't even a thing. Dating is actually legalized, you know what, hooker John relationship. And the reason for this is because what you ladies did was you deregulated sex. You essentially said, I'm going to have sex like a man. Now, the problem with this is you don't understand that that was your major bargaining chip to getting marriages and relationships. You thought you could act like a guy. See how this is all tied back together, guys? When, oh God, the freaking wind chills kill my face. God, it's freaking painful. It's kicking my ass. And we got a super chat from Mr. Jordan. Dating apps slash strip clubs are the lonely man tax. Oh, very interesting. Thank you for the freaking generous donation, Jordan. I really appreciate it, man. I told you guys I'm fighting. And I'm going to do rain, rain, sleet, doesn't matter, snow. I'm vlogging, baby. And when we go overseas, see, what's funny is your guys' donations. Thank you, Jordan, again. What I'm doing is I'm reinvesting that into the business. So that way, when we do go overseas and we start, what is it, um, interviewing traditional foreign women, you guys are going to get an amazing experience and you are going to crap your pants. Gentlemen, you're not even going to care about the West anymore. When I give you to you raw and I have these liberal foreign women and conservative foreign women telling you about their mindset. When we go over to Colombia, yes, I'll probably go over to Colombia. Guys, go to Colombia and all these other countries. I've been to dangerous countries. I've been to safe countries. You always have to mind your P's and Q's. You're in a different land. If you understand the culture, you're probably going to be okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm going to interview, especially when you know the language. It really, really, really helps. The more you know the language, the better of a time you're going to have, no matter where you go. If you go to Hong Kong, knowing a little Cantonese goes a long way. If you go to China, knowing a little Mandarin goes a long way. If you go to Colombia, knowing sp a, even a little bit of Spanish goes a long way. <sighs> but we'll get into that later on. What I wanted to bring up is the fact that there's no need to get on dating apps at all overseas. This is a common mistake that a lot of guys make. Now, I have in the past said you can set up a couple meets from specific you know if you need to dating apps but at the end of the day guys you're gonna have to vet those girls a lot lot more than women that you meet in real life that's just how it goes and i see all these stupid dating roaches coming on and saying hey when you get your passport go overseas take my course so you can meet women overseas guys you don't need to do any of that crap this is more game guy bs nonsense all right, more game guy BS nonsense that does not work overseas anyway. That stuff is just... <laughs> oh, my.
my God. You are literally going to be approached by women overseas, guys. You don't need to go up and spit game and be look like an idiot. All right, just leave. Can you dating roaches just, just leave? Can you just go and look, dating roaches, stick with AWs. You have plenty of them. Enjoy. Ah, unbelievable. But they'll keep trying. <laughs> There's a sucker born every minute. Anyway. Oh, let me show you how to run game on this traditional Asian woman. Oh, yeah. You know what's funny about dating roaches is they don't understand is they're actually making you pay directly. For example, if you take a dating roach course that says, hey, I'm going to show you how to go overseas and meet a ton of Thai chicks. What they don't understand is they're teaching you how to get with liberal Thai women. Does that make sense? They're teaching you how to be goofballs. <laughs> well, let me go over there and spit some game to my Thai chick. And then you're doing all this monkey dancing around and being a goofball. And the Thai girl just goes, okay, okay. Okay, buddy, uh, $50, 4,000 baht. And you're like, I just did all this dancing around like a monkey, like a, like a simp, and I still have to pay. Guys, you're going to pay either directly or indirectly. That's how it goes. It's that simple. You're either going to pay on the front end or the back end. It doesn't matter. If you need to get your rocks off, you go to the red light district of any of these conservative countries, you're set. For example, when I went to Hong Kong, there's a specific street for liberal behavior. Okay? It's not that complicated. All right? So, you can go do all those things. You can go do all those things in specific areas. There's a liberal street where you can go and meet women who are more into that type of stuff. You can even pay for an escort if you need to. Have at it. However, gentlemen, when you go over there, the vast majority of the country, of these countries are not like this. The vast majority of these countries are conservative. So even in Hong Kong, which would be considered more liberal, it's actually very conservative, guys. You see what I'm saying? So when you start running game on conservative women, what do the local guys do? They don't like that, guys. They get very upset. This is where you get into trouble. All right? Now, I've, I've talked about this on previous streams, but I want to make it abundantly clear, you do not need to do any of this dating roach nonsense. It, it works best on liberal women, okay? Anyway, John A. Lifestyle is a broken man. What man outside of a frat house brags about 1,600 chicks? Oh, I know who you're talking about, man. And get, gets it tattooed. Oh, Lord. AMS used to brag about getting his... I know what you mean. I wish I could say dirty or clean, bro. Yeah, guys. It, it's very entertaining. And shout out to AMS. I know he did admit eventually Passport Bros got a lot of things right. But a lot of, the problem with a lot of these guys, unfortunately, they're hyper-masculine. Hypermasculinity doesn't work on in, in any part of the globe. It just doesn't, guys. There's a healthy balance. Does that make sense? So they can say that they're going to, you know, AMS. You guys can look him up. He's funny. Uh, what, did, what did he say? Uh, what was his thing? What was his thing? Oh, my God. Uh, toss him and kick him to the side of the road or something. And, guys, that behavior, it just, it's not going <laughs> to... I know where he's coming from, but it... Oh, man, the windshield! Mm. I know where he's coming from. But that... Guys, that stuff doesn't fly anywhere in the world. It just doesn't. You're going to look, get looked like... You're going to be treated very poorly if you try... If I go over... Gentlemen, if I go over to China and I just start approaching Chinese chicks out on the street, it's very easy, guys. It's not complicated. They're very friendly. They're very nice. Uh, you'd be surprised. And I just approach, or like, let's say Macau, I just start approaching. Guys, they're going to look at me. If I start doing that game stuff, they're going to be like, 
oh, oh th thank you. They're going to be very polite. But guys are going to catch on and they're not going to be too happy about it. They do not like it when you treat them. There you go. They don't like it when you treat their women terribly. And they're not going to tolerate it. They're just not going to tolerate it, guys. They're going to be furious. And you can, you can attract some very, very negative attention. All right? When you go to these countries, they're going to be very friendly. They're going to be very calm. Mexico many times. I've been to bad parts of Mexico. I've been to good parts of Mexico. When you go to Mexico, which a lot of people see is kind of low on the totem pole, I know a lot of guys do, but you are missing out quite a bit when you are introduced to some of the hottest Latinas on the entire planet. And a lot of times they are incredibly nice. The liberal ones are going to be tatted up. The liberal ones are going to be very s sexual. They're going to be very sexual. Okay. <laughs> now I remember. Oh, boy. They're going to be very sexual with you. And guys, you have to be very wary of this. Because if they do that... It means, I think my phone is freezing. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's like stalling. <laughs> Gee, holy cow. It's funny, man. My phone is freezing. It's so freaking cold out here. I'm going to have to get like a, like, a, like a knapsack for this thing or something. That is effing funny. Let's see. It's probably the windshield factor. It's funny because the more you go overseas, the more you're going to notice it's just easier to interact with locals. Now, conservative form, women are not going to be sexual. They're not going to be aggressive. They are going to be very shy. They are going to be incredibly feminine. And they are going to be incredibly submissive. Now, you can, you can, I, I love how the S word is always a bad thing in the West. Guys, overseas, it's not a bad thing. In fact, it's actually seen as a good thing. Now, what does the S word mean? Well, what I mean by that is the ladies are very ready to follow your lead. That doesn't mean submission in, uh, let's just say, the bed. Do you know what I mean? You know, yeah, yeah, D him down, toss him to the side of the room. Remember, men, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. She becomes like Jean Grey in X-Men 3. Women speak in doublespeak. Words equals sword. Yeah, Jordan's on the money, dude. But that type of behavior, guys, doesn't, it's not, it's just not incumbent. It's not a good thing when it comes to you actually being with the traditional form now, when you do meet traditional foreign women overseas, gentlemen, you're going to be absolutely shocked at how forward they are. They're not going to be aggressive, but they will be forward. I've said, I've talked about this numerous times about how this little, this little Cantonese Hong Kong girl who was, guys, she was really, really pretty, uh, probably in LA 7, close to, you know, uh, 7, 7, let's just say 7. I don't want to get, I would be conservative. And her face was just, I mean, she had a little dimple. She was very pretty. And she comes up to me because I was walking straight ahead through one of Hong Kong's vast malls. And I was walking and I saw her and I was like, holy moly. Whew, she my type. And I always, I talk to you guys a lot about standards. She was my type. I was like, ooh, little dimple. Uh, big almond-shaped eyes, uh, little button nose, very pretty, very elegant. There you go. And I go, and I looked at her, and I smiled, and guys, she smiled at me. I was like, holy cow. Ooh, she was pretty. And she walked very slowly, very gracefully. 
and she was slow moving, like kind of like a gazelle. And she was moving slowly and she comes and I kind of walked towards her very slowly. And she came right up to me, guys, and she said, you, she's like, I, I am, I wanted to let you know that you are very handsome. She was, guys, she was very shy and I could tell it was terrifying for her, but she was shooting her shot. <laughs> and I was like, man, oh man, this is just... And what's funny is she said, this is very forward. And she said, I'm, I apologize. And she wasn't trying to be aggressive at all, but it was just effing funny because I was like, dude, this is paradise. And it's funny because I walked all, I, guys, I went all around Hong Kong, all around Macau. And I, a lot of Beijing and next, I'll probably do Shanghai next. What's the other one? Shanghai. What the hell's the other one? I always forget Shenzhen and all that stuff. Anyway, it's funny because I saw little fat guys, little fat Indian guys who were very brown, who had pretty little Chinese wives, not just Indian wives, but Chinese wives. And I was like, that's what I'm talking about. And it's just funny because you don't have to do any of that crap, guys. You don't have to be a freaking weirdo. You don't have to be a creep. Let's see if these little deer are kind of hanging out. Let's see if they uh, let's see if they want some corn. Let's see. They're kind of hiding in the forest right now. Ah, oh, my hands so freaking cold. Again, thank you for the uh, the super chat donation, Jordan. I'm telling you guys, every dollar, every dollar. I never ask you guys for money ever, but I appreciate the donations because I know I'm going to make this channel so crazy big that it's just, it's just going to be amazing. And your guys' voice needs to be heard because guys need a place to vent. They need a place to talk about these things, the things that are bothering them. Wow, it's white-tailed deer, guys. Check it out, white-tailed deer. Beautiful coats. Here, you guys want some? Oh, here they come. <laughs> here they come. I gave them a little overhand pitch so I don't hit the cars. Oh, my hand is frozen. Here they come, guys. There you go. See? Here, check it out. They're a little they're a little tentative. They're a little nervous. They don't know any better. Here, come on, ladies. They can smell the corn. <laughs> they're, scared. they're scared. I'll walk away. I'll leave them alone. My hands are freaking frozen anyway. Here they come. Oh, they're following me. Oh, here they come. Come on, sweetheart. <sighs> Sorry guys. I had to give the deer some freaking corn. They're not they're not big enough to hunt, to be honest with you. They're not big enough to hunt. Here, you, you ladies want some corn? I want to show my back to them so they're not so scared. Here you go, sweetheart. There you go. They're coming. And it's just, it's just, it's funny that the average guys in the West are starting to realize that they don't have to do all this jumping through hoops and here, they're, they're following me now. <laughs> they don't have to jump. They don't have to jump through hoops. Come on. I wish I could ride a deer, guys, but they're just too small. These Guys, you can't hunt these deer. They're way too tiny. Look at the size of these girls. These does are like... Here, I'll show you. Check it out. Check it out. See, guys, they're too small. <laughs> you want some more? Here, here, here. Oh. <laughs> I still got power in my arm. I can't even believe it, man. still got power. That wasn't a full pitch. Oh, Anyway, it's funny because the average guy is figuring these, out, these things out. He's saying, I don't have to be six foot ten. I don't need to have six pack abs. I don't need to have six inches and all this. Guys, it, <laughs> this ridiculous stuff, all this nonsense. They don't even have to do any of this crap and they can get somebody that's pretty hot. That is very sweet and accountable and all this stuff. 
and it was crazy because when I was with that Hong Kong chick in oh <laughs> damn I shouldn't have done that man the deer <laughs> they run out sometimes in front of the cars guys <laughs> you know what I mean but it's funny because I was looking at this little Hong Kong chick and I was like man I can I could wife her up pretty easily because it, it's just simple she was walking ahead of me and I was like geez Louise guys she was in tip-top shape she was probably about five foot three five four 110 pounds it was mostly breasts and I was like damn geez, this girl's in tip-top and I was thinking in my head man and she's like I am too fat I am fat for each a Cantonese girl and I was like my eyes were about to pop out of my head. Guys, I was just like, oh my God. Just, mm. But <laughs> it's funny because I was thinking to myself, this girl is literally paying for all my meals. And yes, guys, they will pay because it's in their country, it's about being hospitable. She was paying for meal after meal. She was taking me all around Hong Kong. And she was literally auditioning herself. It, it's just crazy. You know, she's, she's uh, showing me how she cooks rice and... You know, she's just doing everything she can because she knows this is her shot. And it, I just find it funny that the average guy is starting to realize he doesn't need to take any crap in the West. He doesn't need to bend over backwards for anybody. Because, gentlemen, every day we kill ourselves. That's not what I meant, YouTube. You know what I mean. We, we, wow, these deer are very active today. Guys, this is a freaking deer everywhere. What are they up to? Oh, there's another one. Oh, oh, there's a big buck. Oh, no, he, he's like medium. He's like medium size. He's not that big. They're not that big, guys. It's not, it, they're probably not very tasty. Oh, he's a good size. Yeah, he's like a small medium. But it's funny because average guys are just saying, you know what, I don't need this crap. I can just be myself. And these women will accept us, and we don't have to kill ourselves. Chill out, YouTube. I meant work ourselves to death. <sighs> we don't have to do that stuff. We don't have to push so hard and do all these things that are just very unreasonable. Because, gentlemen, to be honest, most guys work, they work pretty hard. They don't get, you know, there's a lot of guys out there that are just the silent majority that just shuffle through their day and do their thing. And the greatest gift guys like you, Jordan, could have ever been given were these wild, outrageous AWs because they're, they're helping you achieve anonymity. Or they're helping you achieve autonomy. Excuse me, not anonymity. Does that make sense? You're free from all the nonsense, the headaches, the screaming, the crying, Dating apps are terrifying, guys. You want to know what's interesting about dating apps? Girls see things very differently than us. Girls see dating apps as an opportunity to be somebody different. You know how AWs love to co-opt different personalities? I talked about this before. The good girl, the crazy girl, the bad girl, the innocent girl, the... Uh, what's the other one? The boss babe. The... Um, the damsel in distress, all these personalities. I'm not making this up, guys. You're going to think I'm crazy, but it's true. And again, it's not a critique. It's just the little, oh my goodness, that is a beautiful buck. God, if he was just a little bigger. You want some, you want some corn, buddy? Here you go. He doesn't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> He's like, what the hell is that? I got corn, you freaking weirdos. Oh, my hands are freaking frozen. But it's funny because, what are you doing? Oh, he's got beautiful horns, though. He's got a nice rack of horn. Can you guys see this? Check it out. He's got beautiful horns, though. Check it out. He's got some nice horns on his head. Let's see if he comes over. Oh, he's smacking his lips. <laughs> guys, I've fed bucks. I don't, you know, at first I was a little nervous, but then... Does he know what this is? Do you know what it is? What is it? No, no, he's walking. He's scared. They're, they're, they're prey animals, guys. They, 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 they run. 
But anyway, it's just funny. It's funny. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, one of them, he's very interesting. <laughs> oh, now they're falling. <laughs> You want some corn? Here you go. Here, here. That was an overhand throw. Because they get guys, they get scared. They get they're easily startled. So my hands are frozen. They can come get the corn. I'll come back. They'll know who I am. See? Now they're popping up. So it's just funny. Oh god, my hands. I can't do that anymore, guys. My hands are frozen. It's just funny that your average AW is helping you guys dodge a bullet. And the average guy. Is hanging out saying, I don't need to deal with all this. And the dating apps are just a funny place for the girls to test out their personalities. I'm not kidding. Guys, I'm not making this up. And the reason why they do this is because they can be somebody else. They can be an actress. They can test out their new self. Maybe this will work. Maybe if I'm a bad B, guys will like me. There's a reason why they become the career woman. There's a reason why they start acting completely outrageous. It's, to, it's because they think it's attractive. At the end of the day, most people do things that they think are going to make the opposite sex attracted to them. Right? It's human nature. Now, if you're an older guy, this is not as... It's not as much part of your life because your testosterone levels are lower and because you've got some experience and you know you don't have to jump through all these hoops. You know you don't have to be a freaking freak, a genetic freak, to get somebody who's spectacular. But unfortunately, the AWs don't know what guys want. They really have no clue. So they test out these personalities on these dating apps. They try to adopt characteristics that will make them successful. Now, the problem is you can't just jump from personality to personality, right? Your brain starts to go nuts. <laughs> but this is what they do, guys, especially on dating apps. Online dating is a fascinating phenomenon. And it was touted as the next big thing. But you guys already know, trends are just that, trends. They'll never substitute real life, guys. The girls that I met overseas in Mexico, that I met in real life, it was a completely different experience. In Europe, because there's a lot more, what's it called? It's almost serendipitous. And now you're there, and she's there, and you're sharing this moment. And you're seeing a lot more body language, nonverbal communication. Gentlemen, 80% of all communication is nonverbal. How are you supposed to connect with any of these chicks if you're online? I know some of you guys are tentative, and you want to dip your toe in, and that's fine. But you're going to have to vet these girls a lot more because it's way easier to hide certain aspects of your personality. For example, you could be talking to one of these chicks online and she could have a tick. <laughs> when you meet up with her and she's like, eh, eh, you wouldn't have been able to see that. Now, maybe you're into ticks, <laughs> but maybe you weren't. And this is just another reason why you have to make sure that the vast majority of your interactions, just with traditional foreign women in general, are in the real world. And you're going to meet some, guys, you're going to meet some amazing people, not just the women, but guys too, they're really, really cool. And it's just funny because you can't recreate that ma magic. You cannot recreate that magic. It's fascinating. I met a little Filipina when I was in the airport to go into Hong Kong. And guys, she was, Jesus Christ, she was fine. And she had a boyfriend, but she was very nice to me. She was very nice to me. She was, she was very polite. And she didn't try, you know, she didn't give me any type of attitude or anything. 
But Jesus Christ, she was fine. Whew. You got, okay. <laughs> my standards and my categories, the categories uh, of attractiveness to me, and I went over the, them the other day. I had like seven or nine, I can't remember. But anyway, she was in tip top. Guys, the first thing I see is that body, tip top shape, face. And of course, the smile. They don't have the smile, guys. I'm not interested. I have no interest in some chick with, you know, a horrible, crooked smile or just, you know what I mean? Just, but most traditional foreign women smile all the time. Isn't that ironic? They're always cheesing. They're so simple. And this is just another reason why meeting in the real world is just that much more beneficial. You get to see their body language. You get to see their reactions. And they get to see your reactions. These are happy individuals. They're happy to be around you. They're happy to talk to you. They're happy to just spend time with you. It's amazing, gentlemen. And that's really what I wanted to get into is most traditional foreign women you meet guys aren't going to be on dating apps. They are, they actually refuse to get on into this online dating thing. They know that their parents met in the real world. Their parents met at a religious function. Their parents met in real life. And you have to understand something about traditional form women and just women in general. Gentlemen, they're going to follow what their parents do most likely. If their parents were conservative, they're probably going to be conservative too. Holy cow, it's cold as hell. They're probably going to be conservative. They're probably going to be bubbly. They're probably going to, oh man, it's really cold. They're probably going to be happy. And they are going to mimic what their parents do. Or at the very least, want to mimic what their parents do. I want the same love as my mother and father have. And they're not going to be looking for that online. They're going to be looking for that in the real world. Donkey punch that like button as you come in. Appreciate it. Thank you for all the likes, guys. And that's why dating apps really are not going to be for the long run. Another reason why dating apps are failing is because, gentlemen, AI is taking over. Artificial intelligence has been around for a while on the dating apps. Those fake bots, the bots and all that stuff, guys, that's been around for years. It just was in the testing phases. A lot of you guys who are talking to chicks on these dating apps probably don't even know you were talking to a bot. And you didn't even know it. And that's because a lot of these dating apps are losing subs. They're losing members like crazy. So to artificially inflate their numbers for their stockholders. Now, I'm not trying to get into any conspiracy theories, but... A lot of them have had to fudge the numbers with these bots. And by the way, some of them don't even know. Some of these companies don't even have an accurate estimate on the amount of users they have because there's so many bots from outside their company, right, that sign up. So, and a couple of companies got in trouble for that, for having fake users, right? If you guys don't know that, look it up. Make no mistake. They're in it to make money, and they need those shareholders to be happy because a lot of these companies are now public, if I'm not mistaken, right? So the bottom line is, you have to understand, guys, a lot of these dating apps are not going to make it, and online dating as a whole is going to be overtaken by AI, for sure. <laughs> I mean, you literally have guys with AI girlfriends. Right? So, I don't understand how it could be much different than that. So, it's just, it's just ironic. It's ironic that the average, the average uh, AW doesn't even know about this. You know what's funny, guys? AWs, they really don't read 
anymore. They don't stay up on the news or any of this stuff. They don't know what's coming. They really don't. You guys, you guys know, my legionnaires, you know what's coming. Because you're on, you get your finger on the pulse because you need to. You need to stay ahead. A lot of my legionnaires have a brain. But AWs are going to be very, 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 very uncomfortable in the coming years. They're going to be competing with AI bots. <laughs> They're going to be trying to get emotional support animals and all this other nonsense. But at the end of the day, guys will win, as they always do. Because guys have time on their side. And the little ladies don't. Guys have logic on their side. The little ladies don't. Guys have the options. Gentlemen, you're going to always have the options. And not only that, here's just the, you know, here's a small... I mean, think about it this way. There's always going to be more women than men. Period. If you just look at it from a population standpoint, there's always going to be more women than men. It's just how it is. We, we, don't, we just don't last as long as they do. We burn brighter, but we burn hotter. It's that simple. So, <laughs> and our quality of life just keeps improving as we get older. So, there's no real point in being desperate, being on dating apps. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, gentlemen, it really is desperation if you think about it, right? When you know you've got tons of options, you don't even need to jump on those stupid apps. And even the average guy in the West has more options than he thinks he does. Uh oh, big sneeze. <coughs> Who knows? I don't think that was a cold sneeze. I think it was more just my nose was tickling so <laughs> poor little aws <sighs> so as the dating apps collapse as you know they lose more and more users through gen z gen z's given up on those through ai you guys are going to see more of this paradigm shift. And here's what's funny. The AWs are even saying we're giving up on dating apps. So we're going to go back into the real world and just keep doing the same thing we were doing. <laughs> it's just so funny, man. It makes me laugh because no matter which way they turn, they keep failing. Oh, poor AWs. Yeah, we're going to go back to real life. Yeah. Yeah, dating apps are no longer trendy. Unfortunately, that's going to be an even bigger disaster. Because now, guys, they can't hide all their flaws. I literally see TikToks every day of girls saying that they went to a, a farmer's market or they went to a, a, what's it called? They went to Home Depot. They went to the hardware store. They did this and they hung out and nobody approached them. Well, what do you expect? This is so effing funny, guys. They live so far in delusion and fantasy. See, what a lot of you may not know is AWs literally all day is fantasize. Their whole day is fantasy. From the moment they wake up to the moment they fall asleep. It's fantasy. They're on their phone constantly checking their feed. They're constantly seeing and checking what other people are doing. They're seeing what is trending. <laughs> Guys, you can see this in even the old ones. They should have families right now. A lot of those are getting divorced. And then going to social media <laughs> and posting about how they're divorced and they're miserable. It's unbelievable. And then they all look at it, what each other are doing. and they, It's just, it's, it's really disturbing. Guys, you have to understand, I know your day consists of actually working, making deals, closing deals, fixing things. That's not an AW's day. An AW's day is literally constant fantasy. They're, they're literally swiping all day. Now that they're giving up on dating apps, they're just jumping on Instagram and social. They're guys, we haven't even talked about OF, OnlyFans, 
I mean, they're literally online in fantasy 90% of the day. Don't you guys notice how often AWs are buried in their phones? They don't even look up most of the day. <laughs> it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Their whole life is living in that effing phone, especially the big liberal cities like Los Angeles. There's a lot less of that here in te Texas and the small towns, but make no mistake, guys, they're still doing it. <laughs> it's unbelievable. So it's like, wow, they, they watch each other. They compare and contrast. And the funniest par part about all this is the ones that are actually succeeding. And they're in the, La they're in the Lamborghini or they are at the fancy hotel. Gentlemen, they're, most of them are faking it. They Photoshop a lot of their stuff. They use filters. It's, it's just sad and pathetic. A lot of them do this because they're talking about manifesting. Any way, guys, you understand manifesting is fantasy? This is what they do all day. Because literally, reality is too terrifying for them. Guys, you notice that's why I go out in the real world all the time. That's why I go out and vlog and do all this stuff. It's because I, it, it, <laughs> I'm not going to get trapped in that. <laughs> I know you guys are watching me on YouTube, but YouTube's a little bit different. But there's plenty of fantasy on YouTube also. I'm not going to, not going to act like there isn't. There's skits and sketches and, you know, all these, all this weird stuff. But at the end of the day, the real world is always going to dominate. And AWs are not going to be able to catch up to this for a very, very long time. They are in for a world of hurt. Traditional foreign women guys are way ahead of the game. Isn't that ironic? They're more conservative, which is more old, old school, but they're more ahead of the game. Traditional foreign women know exactly what men want. We ha How come we haven't gone over this in almost 1,800 videos? Okay, there's deer over here. What do you want? All right. All right. Hold on. They're getting a little nervous, the deer. She's there running. Here, I'll give you... Jesus Christ. There you go. Enjoy. What the hell is that? There's like a hawk over there, guys. Is that a hawk? What the hell is that? Here, here. There you go, sweetheart. Enjoy the corn. Don't stare. At me. Just enjoy the corn. <laughs> Silly deer, man. They make me laugh. Oh, God. Guys, the temperature's dropping. Oof. Oh, my Lord. Oh, it dropped like three degrees, four or five degrees. Oh, my hand is numb. There we go. Oh, thank God. Oh. It's going to get down to uh, negative... Should be down to like negative one tonight, so I have to keep the pipes from freezing. You know, you got to turn on the the water, just drip little drips tonight, just to, so the 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 freaking uh, pipes don't completely freeze over. There's a, a couple days of freezing temp. It is what it is, guys. Fantasy. The great news is we don't have to stay in fantasy. We can get out of fantasy and we can chill, we can relax, we can go off into the real world, even when it's freezing like this. I just wish there was some rain so then it would turn into snow, but that's all right. It is what it is. No snow in Texas. Just depend I guess it depends on the region. But uh Yeah guys, it's unfortunate. Oh, there's more deer. You guys want. What do you guys want? It's unfortunate the little AW is gonna learn the hard way. But your traditional forum women, they're not going to care. They're going to take every effing guy that they can. They're going to take every guy. Here they come, guys. They can smell it. 
is funny. The neighbors are the neighbors. The neighbors are laughing. That's funny. And I'm laughing because traditional foreign women know the way. They know what's up. Guys, they know how to take care of their men. They know what men want. They know they don't need to be bees. They know they don't have to have a bad attitude and all this nonsense. You know what I mean? They don't have to have a bad attitude. They don't need to throw tantrums and be insufferable. They don't need to do any of those things. And the best part about it is you can meet them in the real world and they're going to it's going to be accommodating. I met this one um, Mexican chick when I went to Mexico and mad guys I'm not going to lie. I considered moving to freaking Mexico because she was just man there was something about her that was just truly special. And she, guys, she could not keep her hands off me. And she was very traditional, but she, she wanted to hold my hand and all this. She was just very affectionate. And she's like, I don't, she's like, she didn't want to bother me or burden me. But she's like, I think about you all the time, Papito. All day. And it was just so refreshing. This was way before I understood the, dif understood the differences between liberal women and conservative. But it was just amazing. And I met her in the real freaking world. This is great, guys. And don't get me wrong. I've met some real cool chicks off the internet. Online. Online dating. But guys, unfortunately, it's just not the same. And it never will be. Even if you video chat... Even it, it just doesn't have the same spark or magic. And the best part is, guys, traditional foreign women are the, the most approachable women on the entire planet. They're unbelievably approachable. In fact, they're probably going to approach you because they know they need to go for it. Guys, you can look this up. There's a village in Cambodia where essentially women, see the dogs agree, the dog, the... <laughs> The women grab men, pull them into their little hut to try to get them to go through like a mock marriage. And it's crazy because this is what's out there, guys. The average traditional foreign woman knows that she has to make her move, right? So make no mistake, when you go overseas, you're going to have a blast. When you go overseas, you are going to be having a good time. You are going to meet incredible ladies with great attitudes. You're also going to meet liberal foreign women. And guys, they're not bad. They're just much more nefarious. You got to watch out, guys. Right? Because they're a lot like AWs. They're in it for just themselves. They're very selfish. The biggest difference between liberal women and traditional women, guys, one is selfish. The other is selfless. How come we haven't gone over that in almost 1,800 videos? Selfish versus selfless. Holy cow. The battery is dropping on here so fast because it is freezing. It must be freezing. <laughs> it's, my phone is fighting. <laughs> but it's cool. So yeah. Traditional woman. Completely selfless. She enjoys being selfless. She knows that she brings joy to everybody else. Liberal woman? Oh no. Very selfish. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to end the stream a little early because the battery is dropping like a rock. Uh, but anyway, I got an appointment anyway. But Donkey Punch, the like button on the way out. Finger the subscribe button. Comment in the comment section. Become a Legionnaire member. And definitely shout out to you. Thank you, Jordan, for the Generous donation, super chat. I appreciate all of it, guys. And um, yeah, we're going to be doing some big things in 2024. Stay warm, stay cold, wherever you are. Stay cool. And as always, gentlemen, I'm definitely watching you.
So let's get to it. 